Hello and welcome to Dottotech. In our last show, we began a detailed look at the world of high-definition television. Today, we're going to get into the details of each of the key technologies. DLP projection TVs, LCD, and plasma displays. And we have found the perfect place to explore all of these high-definition technologies. We're in Samsung's HD suite here in Toronto, and if you ever get a chance to visit, you should take them up on the offer. Oh, but one word of advice. Don't think that you can come here, look at all these displays, and then go home and look at that old boob tube the same way ever again. Let's kick off our show today by looking at projection TVs and Samsung's DLP offerings. DLPs are still the value leader when it comes to HD TV. Now, because we're dealing with projection technology, we're going to get bigger screen sizes with DLP sets. This makes them ideal for home theater environments. Now, there have been some remarkable advances in DLP projection technology, which makes it more appealing than ever. At the top end of the list is a revolutionary new light source that addresses the biggest drawback in older DLP sets. Now, some DLP TVs still use a conventional lamp as a light source. Now, these displays, the light shines onto a DLP chip which contains thousands of micro mirrors. And those mirrors reflect the light through a color wheel and onto the screen. And it works remarkably well. But as I mentioned, there's a few drawbacks. The first is the lamp itself. It burns out over time and needs to be replaced. And usually that represents a bill of around $400. And secondly, some people notice a phenomenon called a color halo that happens when the light reflects through the spinning wheel. A small percentage of people see it, but they actually see a halo around the image. Now, Samsung killed both those birds with one LED. This remarkable little chip here is one of three LED light sources that lives in the next generation of Samsung DLP TVs. It's called flat light with a PH, like the fat people say. This LED doesn't look like any LEDs you've ever seen before. For example, it looks nothing like your Christmas tree LED lights, but it does produce light and lots of it. Now, there's a lot of benefits when it comes to LED light sources in your DLP TV. They don't burn out like your old DLP lamps. There's no noise. There's no moving parts, no color wheel, and no color halo. There's nothing to fail mechanically. And as weird as it may sound, your LED lights will probably outlast you. There's more. Thanks to technological advancements, newer generation of DLP TVs are much thinner, and they're now wall-mountable. This is a profound shift in DLP TVs. But the best news? They still retain all of the old benefits of DLP systems. They feature Samsung's exclusive seventh generation Cinema Smooth light engine that creates an incredible picture with no visible pixel structure. Now, when you compare different TV sets at the store, see how close you can get to the TV before you notice individual pixels. You have to get awfully close to this Samsung set to see any. Now, that means that when you're in a normal viewing environment, you're going to have a very smooth and film like image. The proof? is in the picture, baby. Now, one last spec that you should know about is the astounding 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. This means that you're going to see more range in the dark end of the image, which is especially important if you're into gaming or if you're a movie buff. So if you're watching your favorite suspense film, those dark scenes will become more defined to the level that you'll actually be able to see the villain dressed in black coming out of the dark alley. <laughs> and Gamers can now see that enemy lurking in the shadows so you can get the shot off in the nick of time. And speaking of gamers, there is one other important factor that you need to include in your decision on getting the right HD TV set. That consideration is how many connections does it have and what type of connections does it have. Because you're probably going to want to hook up a Blu-ray or high definition DVD player. You're going to want to set up your set-top box, your gaming system. Maybe you've got a media center PC you want to connect, a second gaming platform, hey, a camcorder. And I've even heard some people still have VHS players kicking around the house, although I don't know why. Now, you need to spend a little bit of time on the business end of the TV, and we need to know what type of connections are optimum for each of these devices. With most gear, you're probably going to find that there are several cabling options. For example, you might have composite and S-video. Always use the highest quality connection for each source, and highest of them all is HDMI. HDMI is the industry standard for high-definition cabling. It allows uncompressed video and audio to be played on your TV and your sound system, meaning you're going to have the highest quality image going to the screen and the highest quality audio 
coming out of your speakers. So you got to figure out how many connections you need, then look at the back of the set and see what is available. Let's take a look at the business end of this DLP set and see what it has. Here on the side of this unit, we find a quick connect area where we can quickly plug in a camcorder or we can even plug a peripheral in to the USB port. Here at the very back of the unit, we have the rest of our connections. We have antenna in, we have our audio visual in, which includes S-video as well as composite video and audio. We have two channels of component video. We have the ability to connect a PC so you can hook up that media center PC, for example, and then not one but two. HDMI connectors and that definitely in this world is something that you should be looking for. There's one other twist to the HDMI story that might make a difference to you. It's called HDMI CEC which includes device control. What that means is you can use a single remote for all of your connected HDMI peripherals. This works with Samsung's upconverting DVD players, their Blu-ray players and their home theater systems. So you only need one remote to run them all talk about convenience and not only does it save you time but it also saves you money because a good programmable remote can cost over two hundred dollars not all HD TVs are created equal and even the ones that sound like they share technology can be remarkably different no one else does DLP quite like Samsung although I imagine they wish they did all 26 episodes of Dotto Tech season 3 are available to borrow at participating libraries Check our website for details.